soccer player. Hey guys, uh, I'm Toussaint Ricketts, uh, forward for the Canadian men's national team. I also uh, play club at uh, Bullisport FC and um, I started my career playing uh, in university. I went to the University of Green Bay, Wisconsin, uh, fight in Phoenix. I uh, did four years there. From there I went to uh, Finland where I played my uh, signed my first professional contract at uh, Milikoski Impalo, Moipa 47. Played two years there. From there I got uh, transferred to Romania, uh, Polytechnica Timisoara. And uh, from there um, I went to Norway where I played at Volaranga and Sadness Ulf. And from Sadness Ulf I went to uh, Turkey where I played at Bujaspor. Um, from Bujaspor I went to Israel where I played at Hapoel Haifa. And now I'm back in Turkey playing for Bulaspor FC. So that's been my journey as a professional football player. And um, from there, uh, it brings me to where I am now. Um, just starting the season in Bulaspor and uh, just started the, the World Cup qualifier campaign with the men's Canadian national team, which is, uh, which is exciting. And uh, it's a big year for us, so we have something to prove. But basically, you want to, Dylan wanted me to speak shortly about what it takes to be uh, a professional and uh, the steps I took to get there. Um, I wouldn't say it was the easiest route or the most uh, desired route a football player would like to take, but it's the route that was best for me and it's the route that I had to take. Um, I never stopped working. I, uh, I always wanted to be the, the fittest. I've always wanted to work the hardest and uh, I always wanted to show that I had the character and the professionalism to uh, pursue this career and pursue this uh, profession. So that has been something that has been with me from the start. And um, basically, uh, every team I go to, there's no doubt uh, performance-wise, the, the feedback is that I'm always professional. And that's uh, a main thing. And um, being professional in the environment, uh, you know, just dealing with coaches, you know, uh, not breaking the rules and most of all working hard day in and day out. Uh, so basically those are the main things I believe it takes to become a professional and obviously talent as well. Um, so yeah, that is uh, basically what I think it takes to become a professional. And the last question is, hold on, let me check. Last question is, uh, what's the difference between players who make it and players who don't? And one thing I've noticed, growing up, you will not always be the best player at that time, but that doesn't mean you don't you have a less chance of becoming a professional or less chance of making it in this uh, profession. Um, I've grown up with players that I've thought were leaps and bounds ahead of me in, uh, in terms of talent. But um, obviously that can get to a player's head. Whereas once they see the success early, sometimes they feel they don't have to work as hard. And I think that's the main thing. No matter if you're the best player or the worst player, you gotta continue working hard. And um, if you're not able to or not willing to put in that work day in and day out, I think sometimes you can fall short of becoming a professional. Not And also not only that, I think mentality is a big thing. You have to be willing to sacrifice a lot of things to become a professional. I left the first time at the age of 18 and from then I've been out of Canada the majority of the time. I've been away from my family the majority of the time. I'm in countries where the language is not English so I have to adapt and you know find a way to communicate and it's not always the easiest conditions and some players may not be able to handle that and may break under those um, conditions but me personally I uh, I thrive in the in the tough conditions and the tough environments and um, I think that's the main difference between players who make it and players who don't mentality sacrifice and commitment